Hey guys, this is Ralph with Straight Menses. Today I've been messing around with the temperature sensor for the outside and I also have been uh, tinkering with the uh, display on the inside. You need to disassemble it uh, out of the cluster, the inter instrument cluster. There's another video for that one. And speaking of which, give me a like, give me <laughs> a recommendation forward these videos playlists to somebody who might benefit from some other videos that'd be cool and today we'll work with this and that is the outside temp temperature display because I don't know about you but if got I might have an old <laughs> clunker dr driving around but I'd like to have everything working and dr nothing drives me more bunkers than when something doesn't work the uh, yeah let's leave it at that so there are a couple of things that you can look for and there is one type of problem that I can show you how to fix and another one well it's time to go to eBay to uh, get yourself another one so here we go you will need two tools Phillips have a screwdriver and you will need a fine tip soldering gun this one is pretty neat because you can you don't need two hands in order to operate this one so here's one that fluctuated and at last it finally went completely blank and didn't have numbers but if it's blank like this or the numbers go up and down and up and down and sometimes it's dead nuts and it's it's accurate that those are the ones that you can save here's another one and you can see well you can't <laughs> but the darker one here the LCD screen is bad and that's that's not something that I can fix what happens with most of these is that the soldering joints go bad on them so what you do is you take the little screws out all of them so take this off there you go and here you have all the soldering joints and one thing that you don't have to do is don't take these off because now I know how this got damaged on the other one. If you loosen these, you might just deliminate the LCD screen, which had happened here. So these are all spares, but I at least show you how, how to resolve the joints. This is going to take a while, take your time, but one by one, go heat them up, put some fresh solder on all of these. Which we're going to do now and then we'll power it up to see if it works at all uh, I don't have a sensor but at least I will I show you how to power it up so you can get it going all right all right so here have my trusted 12 volt power source make sure that you know where plus and negative are here's the schematic one two and three those are the ports on the back here helps to turn it in the right direction so you have one here that's where the plus needs to be two where the negative needs to be three is coming from the sensor I get to that in a moment and four is plus for light which we'll also check so this is what the schematic looks like on the back of the send off of the uh, readout you have the one for the plus number two for ground there's also the ground that goes to the sensor the, uh, the outdoor temperature sensor this is the plug in the fuse box and it goes to three and let's see that it works and again i know that this this display unfortunately has a smaller blind spots now that they're less with it but it's an organ donor part anyway it the main point is that I wanted to show that, that I was able to revive this thing. So, with that said, let's connect. This one to... 
let's run to plus. There you go. Negative. And I need a third wire for the to simulate the temp the, the sensor. I put that on three, like so. And then I'm going to just touch this in the back, like so, and turn that around. There you go. And it works again, obviously, without the temperature sensor hooked up. It won't work correctly. It, it's going to go through some bogus value. Uh, but it, I was able to completely revive the, the unit. Now I need another LCD screen for this one in order for that to be 100% correct. But it does work. And of course, it does help to have all the contacts on there correctly. So one more thing and that is I need to show you how to do how to double check the light. Yeah we we'll need once again ground plus and this time instead of the ground there I'm gonna put this one there and then we're gonna Put this one there, and that's lighting the unit. So, fairly straightforward job. Happy work. All right, folks. Another episode of Stray Benzes is over. Give me a, a thumbs up. Forward the videos to somebody who might enjoy it or who might be benefiting from it. And other than that, give me a couple of suggestions as to what to cover next. Or in upcoming episodes, I'm having a running tally list. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay indoors. <laughs> and up to the next time, talk to you.